This lesson is an introduction to the VI text editor. This is the traditional editor that's installed on every flavor of Unix, including Linux. The version of VI that comes with Linux is actually called VIM, but it's the same editor with some whistles and bells added to it. Now, VI is a little different from most editors because of its background. It came about in the early days of Unix and was developed to be flexible. It's designed to work with many different kinds of terminals and many different keyboard layouts. It's the variety of keyboard layout that was the main consideration. You can use the VI editor by using nothing but this standard ASCII set of characters. You don't need arrow keys or function keys. This is achieved by the editor being modal. That is, the editor is always in either one of two modes. In one mode, you can move the cursor and scroll the text. In the other mode, everything you type is taken to be text and is inserted into the document. This makes VI a bit odd until you get used to it, but it is popular with touch typists because you never have to take your eyes off the screen to search for a function key or a backspace button. To edit a file, just use the command name VI followed by the name of the file. If the file doesn't exist, VI will create it and save your edits. The following command edits an HTML web page named linux.html. You can use the arrow keys to move the cursor or you can use the traditional VI keys. The letter J moves the cursor down. The letter L moves the cursor to the right, H moves it back to the left, and the letter K moves the cursor up. To switch out of command mode into an edit mode, just enter any one of the editing commands. For example, the letter I for insert will switch you into edit mode and the text you type will be inserted at the point of the cursor. To switch back to command mode, just hit the escape key. You can use the escape key as often as you like. It will always switch you back to command mode. If you're already in command mode, it won't do anything except maybe beep. In the command mode, the letter U can be used to undo whatever you just did. Another way to enter into edit mode is to use a lowercase o to open a new line below the one with the cursor. You can also use an uppercase o to open a new line above the one with the cursor. Now there are lots of ways to scroll text and go to specific places in the text. Control D moves the cursor down 12 lines and scrolls the text if necessary. Control U moves the cursor up 12 lines. You can change the number of lines it moves each time if you need to go faster or slower. An uppercase G will take you to the bottom of the file. Specifying a line number in front of the G will take you directly to that line. For example, to go to the top of the file, enter the number 1 followed by an uppercase G. The letter C can be used to switch into edit mode to change existing text. But you have to specify what you are going to change. For example, you enter CW to change a word. Then to exit the insert mode, you hit the escape key. If you want to change more than one word, just enter the word count in front of the CW. For example, Entering 4CW here will allow you to type something in place of all four of these words. Using a slash allows you to search forward in the text. To do the searching, you can use regular expressions, just like grep. When you enter the slash, the bottom line becomes a command line where you enter the expression, like this. You enter the string you're looking for and press return. If you want to do the same search again, just type the lowercase letter N for next. Notice here, 
that the search, when it hits the bottom, wraps back around to the top. That way it will find whatever you're searching for, no matter where it is in the file. If you want to know where you are in the file, you can enter Control G and the bottom line will show you the line number and column number of the cursor, the total number of lines in the file, and what percentage of the file is above the current cursor position, like this. Finally, when you're finished editing and you want to save your work and exit, you can enter a colon followed by a W to write the file to disk, and then a Q to quit the editor. Another way to do it, and the one that I prefer, is to type two uppercase Z's.